Hi everyone, David Mail here. Today I'm going to show you something really cool and quick. I'm going to show you how to get Microsoft Office online for free really fast and easy. So what we're going to do today is just a couple things. First off, go to Google Chrome. This is Google Chrome. Now you see I'm in incognito mode. You need to be in this. If you don't know where it is, what you're going to do is see these three buttons or three dots on top of each other right here on the right of my screen. You're going to click on that and you're going to open up a new incognito window. Okay, once you have that, you're going to go to office.com. Just type in office.com. It'll bring you here. If it doesn't, it's going to first ask you to create or use a uh, Windows Microsoft uh, login. So you can easily right there create a new one, just something at outlook.com. It's right on the thing it says create a new logon. Do that. Put your, pat, your pat, new password in, it brings you right here. Once you're here, and the reason why I'm showing you this way is that my computer's incredibly slow today, so you have to just bear with me. So I've, show, so I've got all these three pages right here. But it'll take you the same way. So once you're here, now you can see I've got Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneDrive, Teams, OneNote, ToDo, Family Safety, Calendar, and Skype. And I've got other stuff. All I got to do is click to the app launcher. I can click in here and see the same things, or I can see all apps if I want to click on this and it'll open them all up for me. Um, so from here, we're going to pick Excel. So when you go into Excel, it's going to ask you again to log in, use your login and your password you just created on coming into office.com. Here it is. Nothing's grayed out. Everything's here. It doesn't have every single function you're going to have in the uh, local one that you would install on your local laptop or uh, computer. But for online, this has everything you could want. So you go in here, you can create stuff like you can see right here. I have types A through E, uh, purchases, um, total amount. You can see it right here. And then I have here a pivot chart, which is created very easily by hitting insert and pivot table and then you pick the uh, range of your pivot of the table you want to pivot over here and then you pick the field so if I click here you can see right here uh, everything is in either a column for values uh, type filters and then you can see my values are here total purchases average and sum of total amount so these guys right here total purchases and, to and sum of total amount are sums or totals the average I use average so all you have to do to do that was is select one of these hit value field settings and switch it from sum to average or whatever it is you want in there but you can see here I have everything working I could from this I could go and create a, uh, a graph if I wanted to I mean I don't know what I'd want with this data here but uh, let's say if I wanted a line chart of sorts here I could have this and it shows me A, B, C. It's kind of ugly right now. I could mess with it and make it look prettier. Uh, let's delete that. What if I wanted to insert a uh, uh, bar chart? So we can go right from here and there you go. We've got total purchases, average purchases per trip. And this is more insightful than, the, than that line was because it gives me a little more data on it, especially with the ability to see the average versus the total of each of these and the sum of the total amount. So you can see type C overall has the highest um, sum of total amount. Anyway, um, this is really interesting, easy to do, and uh, gives you online uh, for free. You go back here, I can click on other things. I can pick Outlook, I can pick PowerPoint, and work with PowerPoint slides. Excel, you just saw I could click on Word and all you got to do is click new blank document. This is what I was talking about earlier where it's going to ask you to verify your identity. You just click verify. Now, as I said, my computer's incredibly slow. Um, let's see here. Today, let's see if it's working good today. I have to reboot my computer. Once it's found out who I am, it'll open it up and give it a second here and we'll have Word in a second. I told you my computer is incredibly slow today. Probably needs to be rebooted, as I said. Uh, this might take a while. This did with Excel. It has to go and figure out who I am. Well, anyway, it will open up just like it did with, uh, oh, there it is. Now it's finally opening. It's slowly opening. It's still not there because it's got to give me the banner. There we go. And there we have Word. We can go and work on all this stuff and do whatever we need to do. And it was free. It didn't cost me anything. It literally takes seconds to do, under a minute, to get yourself set up and have uh, online office 
your Excel, Word, PowerPoint, whatever you need for free. And uh, you can load up files, whatever you need to do when you uh, get in there and uh, play, with it, play around with it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful and informational. Remember, again, go to incognito mode, pick out a user ID, find one. If you don't have one, create one and log in and start using Microsoft Excel, Word, and whatever else you want to do. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe so you can see all my other stuff that I have coming out and you'll get notified when I have cool stuff coming out, great videos like this. And uh, take a moment and look at all the other great t tutorials and tech stuff I have on my website for, or my video channel for you tech know-how. Thanks again. Have a great day.